Major Garrett is at the White House, where the Trump administration is warning North Korea of a massive military response to any threat. Major, good morning. Good morning. The sense that both nations are on a collision course is quite simply unmistakable. North Korea keeps moving toward a nuclear weapon capable of reaching the continental United States. And in a statement released here at the White House yesterday, President Trump said all assets are at his disposal, including the vast U.S. nuclear arsenal. North Korea's successful test of an alleged hydrogen bomb, far more powerful than the atomic bombs at the dawn of the nuclear age, brought a stern warning from Defense Secretary James Mattis. Any threat to the United States or its territories, including Guam, uh, or our allies, will be met with a massive military response, a response both effective and overwhelming. Mattis spoke after an emergency national security meeting at the White House and outlined every military option. We are not looking to the total annihilation of a country, namely North Korea. Before the meeting, President Trump attended church for the National Day of Prayer for Hurricane Harvey and was asked if he would attack North Korea. South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham described the conflict to come if economic pressure or diplomacy fail. I'm assuming we drop one bomb, he fires at South Korea and maybe Japan. Let me tell you how the war ends. It ends with his utter destruction. Thousands of people could be killed or maimed. Mr. Trump said North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has become a great threat and embarrassment to China. He added, South Korea's talk of appeasement will not work. This behavior is completely unacceptable. The administration is, for the time being, promising to intensify economic pressure. The White House is also considering punishing those who trade with North Korea. Anybody that wants to do trade or business with them would be prevented from doing trade or business with us. The next level of U.S. sanctions could focus on large state-owned banks or businesses in China that deal frequently with North Korea. And the threat of cutting off U.S. trade with China over the dispute with North Korea could affect both nations. Jeff, last year, more than a trillion dollars in trade between the U.S. and China. Major Garrett, thank you.